The Indus Valley Civilization IVC, also known as the Harappan Civilization, represents one of the earliest cradles of human civilization, yet it remains less celebrated than its contemporaries in Mesopotamia and Egypt. Flourishing around 3300 to 1300 BCE in the northwestern regions of South Asia, primarily in present-day Pakistan and northwest India, the IVC was remarkable for its advanced urban planning, sophisticated craftsmanship, and extensive trade networks. The Indus Valley Civilization developed in the fertile floodplains of the Indus River and its tributaries. This geographical advantage played a crucial role in the civilization's growth, providing a stable agricultural base. The region's climate during the Harappan period was wetter than today, supporting diverse flora and fauna and enabling the sustenance of large, urban populations. The ample water supply from the Indus and the periodic monsoon rains facilitated the cultivation of crops such as wheat, barley, peas, and cotton, which formed the backbone of the Harappan economy. Mahenjo-Daro, one of the largest and most well-preserved Harappan cities, provides a vivid illustration of the civilization's architectural prowess. The city was divided into two main parts, the citadel and the lower town. The citadel, situated on an elevated platform, contained public buildings, granaries, and baths, suggesting its role as an administrative and ritual center. The Great Bath of Mahenjo-Daro, a large, rectangular tank, is particularly notable for its complex design, including steps leading down to the water, a surrounding colonnade, and an efficient drainage system. This structure indicates a high level of social organization and possibly religious or ceremonial practices. The economy of the Indus Valley civilization was primarily based on agriculture, supported by the fertile plains of the Indus River. The Harappans cultivated a variety of crops, including wheat, barley, peas, and cotton. The domestication of animals, such as cattle, sheep, goats, and possibly elephants, supplemented their agricultural practices and contributed to their economic stability. In addition to agriculture, the Harappans were skilled artisans, excelling in metallurgy, beadmaking, pottery, and textile production. The discovery of various artifacts, including tools, jewelry, and pottery, attests to their craftsmanship and artistic sensibilities. The use of standardized weights and measures indicates a sophisticated system of trade and commerce. The social structure of the Indus Valley civilization is challenging due to the lack of deciphered written records. However, archaeological evidence provides insights into the daily life and societal organization of the Harappans. The uniformity in urban planning and housing suggests a society with a relatively egalitarian structure, without stark disparities in wealth and status. The presence of large, well-planned public buildings and baths, along with standardized weights and measures, indicates a high degree of social organization and possibly centralized governance. The absence of monumental architecture, such as palaces or temples, which are common in other contemporary civilizations, suggests that political and religious power may not have been as centralized or hierarchical in the Harappan society.